had detected and realized quite quite quickly that this was in fact a live attack. Like, we can only speculate that the intention here had to be to acquire specific intelligence. The very phrase, socially distanced, which owes its genesis to the world's attempts to fight the pandemic, has become a metaphor for the state of society and our collective conscious. Data doesn't know boundaries the way it is structured right now, but laws do. Laws are actually defined for certain geographies. How we used ancient communication methods to fight a challenge which was thrown to us by modern technology. How can we use this pandemic as an opportunity, not for pandemonium, but for innovation and forward progress? I'd like to focus on our institutions. We are gathering virtually at a pivotal moment in the evolution of communications technologies. We live in the shadow of tech giants. These digital multinationals have ushered in a new era of connectedness and innovation, but they are also increasingly criticized for anti-competitive practices. How important digital technologies would become in helping us carry on our daily lives this year, whether that is in our work lives or simply keeping in touch with friends and family. It's important to look at uh, space for a number of different reasons because I think we are all so reliant, dependent on space for a number of different operations, functions, whether it is uh, to do with uh, our trade and economics, weather, meteorological support. If you tame technologies, can democracies survive? If, on the other hand, if you don't regulate technologies, can democracies survive? The answers are unclear, but it is certainly true that the protection of the public sphere, the integrity of political regimes, and the purity of conversations must be a common aspiration.